Hey Pete, trust you well. Um, just, just want to share a couple of things that might be helpful for business owners out there. And you know, I was reading a book the other night, and the guy was talking about Charles Darwin. Now Charles Darwin's that evolutionary expert, and a lot of things get thrown around that what he was saying, things like um, only the strong and the smartest will survive. Well, he didn't actually say that. Apparently, what he said, paraphrasing, was something along the lines of. Those that are able to adapt to the ever-changing environment are the ones most likely to survive. And that's exactly the same in business. As I was thinking about it, you know what? In my two decades, of, two decades of running business, we've had turbulent times in the last two decades. What we're having, what's currently happening right now with this whole corona, this thing is completely crazy. Particularly if you're down in Victoria, um, you guys are doing it tough. But our ability in our businesses to be able to adapt to these changing times. Now, be able to pivot, be able to protect our staff assets in our businesses and still make profits is critical. And it has more to do with, and I was having this conversation last Friday, last Friday on a coaching session um, with a really smart dude. And I get this asked all the time and it came up in our coaching session about, Taz, what do you think is gonna happen in the economy? Now we're going to, we're, we're in a recession. Um, uh, and it's my same answer all the time. I have no idea what the economy's gonna do. I don't focus on their economy. And I look at other successful businesses and if you focus on the economy, or if you focus on what the masses are looking at on TV, on media, on social media, and trying to run your business based on the economy and not focusing on your economy, that's the fastest way to go out of business. Because we cannot control what's happening out there. What we can control and what we have some control over is our businesses. How effectively we manage them, market them, we sell on them, cut our expenses, cut our overheads that aren't performing, bring on additional you know, team players, move on people that may not be team players. We can control that economy. And that's what I love about, that's what I love about business the most. You're setting up a game, business can be attributed to, can be like a game, you're setting up a game where you get to control how the game's played. So if we can sit back and stop stressing about the economy and focus on our economy, as in your business, what's happening in your business, because you can control the levers in your business. There's much, much less chance of getting overwhelmed of what's happening out here. Business, business success is about focus. Focus on your, what you can do, what your business can do, and your economy, not the economy. I mean, here's an example. Last Wednesday night, I blew my knee out. It's heavily strapped up because it's killing me. Um, and I don't like not training. So I took a couple of days off, Thursday, Friday, um, but I had to adjust. I had to adapt. So I can't do hit the roll, I can't do heavy squats, or I can't do any squats, but I can do other exercises. I can focus on my health. I can't focus on my knee, and I can't focus on not what I can't do. Don't worry about what you can't do, what can you do? So in this current economy, what can you do in your business? That's where you should focus. Look for small wins anywhere. So two takeaways. Those businesses that are able to adapt, pivot, protect, and profit are gonna be the ones that survive this crazy business, what's going on right now, and always has been the case, whether it be the Y2K bug, whether the GFC, whether the floods in Queensland, or what we're going through right now. And those businesses that are able to focus on their economy, don't worry about the economy, in every single, go back in history for the last 20, 30 years, every single recession or downturn, there are businesses out there that not only succeed, they thrive. Stay cool, be well, and see you in the interwebs. Bye.